So I'm moving into my own house. house. I'm gonna be turning 20 and I am getting married in January so I just thought like we need a house like after getting married you need to move into a house and we are set on a house and now it's just time to pack tomorrow is December 1st and that is the move-in date that we're gonna actually start bringing everything inside the house and I'm gonna give you guys an empty house tour and that is gonna be in the second video so this video I'm just gonna be packing everything inside my room so since we're getting married on January 19th we are gonna be moving into the house like sleeping in there for the first time on the 20th. So you're probably wondering like, Emily, like, why, why did you, did you put, put the move-in date, move date as December 1st? We really just want to focus December 1st on the house, like moving everything inside. And then on January, we're going to be focusing on the wedding since we're getting married on January. So I'm still going to be sleeping in this room up until January. But guys, I am so excited that I get to actually go see the house again. And I've just been wanting to go see the house again. And there's going to be some furniture being shipped tomorrow to the house. And oh, I'm just so excited. It's just also crazy to me because I started my channel in this exact room like my room has been through purple i painted my room i filmed so many room transformations in my room and now my bed is like right over here again like i didn't even show you guys that but i wanted to change it up again just because i'm gonna be moving and i didn't really want to film it i filmed it but it just didn't look good so i was like you know what maybe it's just a sign to just take this time and enjoy it one more time moving my bed because i grew up in this room and as you guys know i started my channel in this room so it means a lot and it's like kind of sad that I am moving but I'm also really excited because this is a really big thing in my life and a very big season and change in my life I ordered some boxes to be shipped to my house so that I can start packing everything and putting things in boxes so it's already here it's at the door so we're gonna go get it so here are the boxes. I got medium sized boxes. Hopefully they're enough. I'm literally just packing my clothes. So we should be fine. I also got tape just to tape everything with the boxes and stuff. Super, Super excited. excited. Guys, I'm gonna show you guys a sneak peek because we got gifted a TV just because it's like our wedding. And so people are gifting us stuff. And one of the gifts were this 70 inch TV for our living room. And I'm super excited about this because this is huge. And it's also really good quality of what we heard. So we're really excited to set this up, which is gonna be in the second vlog of me moving so stay tuned for that in my closet right now and i'm gonna start off by taking clothes that i don't really normally wear especially for right now since summer is like over it's like pretty much cold now so i don't really think i'm gonna wear it like bikinis and stuff like that i'm just gonna put in boxes i also have a lot of like storage things i just need to like put in boxes because right now i'm just not using it so yeah i'm gonna start off by taking the stuff out of my drawers and then i'm just gonna keep going up and up and seeing the clothes that i just don't use right now and putting them in boxes also don't mind my closet it is a mess right now but it's gonna look super empty in like seconds so it's gonna look better This looks crazy, but I just taped the bottom of the boxes so that nothing falls at the bottom, obviously, when I put things in. So I just kind of packed the boxes up, and now I'm going to put things in it because my closet right now is a mess. Like, I have all the clothes that I don't really need until, like, I move in. So I'm just going to put everything in the box so that I can actually, like, pull these drawers out without, like, hitting a bunch of things because, obviously, this is going to pile up. So I just have two more drawers to go. I took everything out of these, and then these are the clothes that I'm just going to keep. And then in here, I have a lot of clothes that I want to donate. And then these are just like all my socks and stuff. So I just have to figure out the socks that I want to keep since it's winter time. So these are like a little bit thicker and they're probably some socks that I'm going to want to keep. So yeah, I'm just going throughout them. I'm going to put these in the boxes now. <laughs>
I just packed all of the boxes like I closed up the boxes and have a couple more boxes that I have to close up with the tape and I just put like a little bag of the things that I'm gonna need tomorrow and I'm gonna donate this I don't really like it anymore but I have like my tripod and like scissors because we're obviously gonna need scissors to open up those boxes and any package that we get in the mail this is what my closet looks like right now it literally looks so much better like it's not super cluttered I do have a lot of loads in here but that's because nothing else would fit in those boxes I think I just need to buy more big boxes maybe large boxes because I got medium size so I have a lot of clothes like jackets and puffer jackets that literally won't fit in anything I brought this chair in here because I had to like go grab stuff up there basically up there is literally just like storage bins that I really just don't need at the moment and maybe like when I actually move my stuff again like grab more stuff to go to the house and drop it off like I'll use those bins for storage but I'm definitely gonna bring those bins like to the house but yeah anyways I'm gonna close these up and try to see if there's anything else I want to bring to the house and just keep on going So right now we're putting everything in the car and we're kind of just trying to <laughs> we're trying to make space in here for the boxes. Well, empty Starbucks cup. <laughs> empty Starbucks cup. Okay. I am literally in the house right now that I chose. I'm gonna give you guys three selections of houses that we went to go see, and you guys comment down below which house you guys think I chose and which house I got accepted to. And then in the next video, I'll be giving you guys an empty house tour and like all of that stuff. This was the first house that we went to go tour, and honestly, this house is literally perfect. It had really good lighting. The kitchen was honestly so pretty and had a gas stove, so that's perfect. But the oven was literally blue. It's not that big of a deal, but I was like so surprised when I opened it because I've never seen like a blue oven in like microwave so it was kind of like new to me this was the second house that we toured and this one had like a camera inside but I couldn't really talk and stuff that's why I'm doing a voiceover it was really dirty like actually I opened the kitchen it was like strawberries and like stains everywhere it was just so nasty but also I didn't like this house because the energy was really bad like there was two rooms in that house as a four bedroom so it's really big but there was two rooms that were painted like purple and blue this was the third house that we went to go view obviously the kitchen is perfect like literally so much space to make food but the outside space like the backyard was open like the fence was open onto the road there's obviously cars that pass by and i have a dog so she's crazy she could literally run straight to that road and probably die but honestly it was really big and like had four bedrooms which was really nice and the bathroom was really good lighting this is like the master bedroom i tried to get as much clips i could and this is all i got but there was four bedrooms and two and a half bathrooms which is obviously perfect space so those are the three houses we are so excited to show you guys like the actual full empty house store and everything i started looking at houses literally in january before me and caleb got engaged because i just really wanted my own place i also was super sad though to leave my parents like i'm still super sad that i'm leaving my parents it just feels so bad but like i am excited all at the same time so it's like such a weird feeling like i don't even know how to explain it but last year in november i started looking at houses and when i tell you guys this i could not find any house i never told you guys this but it was just not working out it was just i feel like not meant to be because compared to this time when we went to go look at houses we only viewed three and out of those three we chose one of them so like we didn't even have to go days of looking for houses I didn't have to be on Zillow 24 7 to find a house like we literally toured this house that I'm in right now and got it under 24 hours signed a lease agreement and then we just I don't even know how it happened like I, I don't even know how to call you guys this but I genuinely think it was just meant to be but I am so excited you guys um, you guys are definitely gonna be seeing a lot of moving diaries and like series of that so definitely stay tuned for that because there are gonna be a, a bunch of, of those videos combined but yeah I'll be showing you guys definitely go follow my Instagram if you guys want to keep updated on like the house that i chose maybe i'll show some sneak peeks also on my tiktok i'll probably do that because i'm just i want to show you guys already but don't forget to comment down below which house you think i chose out of those three anyways i will see you guys in my next video